much just so whatever in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys one two three four five unexpected sewing tools this just in here we go um, okay so the first one not very unexpected but very interesting gift cards um, so I like to keep gift cards in my sewing area for when I'm making wallets uh, you could also use old debit cards but for the purposes of this video I'm using old gift cards so that nobody steals any account numbers I don't know um, usually I have about six of these on hand that's how many are in an average wallet um, but they come in handy when you're double checking to make sure card slots work very important right yeah, kind of important. Um, the next one is kind of a twofer, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, a chopstick and a fork. You're like, wait, what? Yes, they come in handy when eating Chinese and when sewing. Uh, so the fork is great for putting on zipper pulls and um, making bows if you're doing that sort of thing. That's why I have it around, honestly. Um, and it comes in handy for snacking. And then the chopstick is great for turning through corners um, or tubes or things like that. Um, and also poking your cat and annoying your cat. So kind of a dual purpose. Um, the next one is a lighter. Uh, this comes in handy when you're um, trying to seal the ends of your thread or burning loose fabric, um, like stray fabric or um, kind of singeing the ends on a, a ribbon or a zipper, things like that. These are great. I actually keep one in my car for that reason as well. And my mom's like, why do you have a lighter in your car? What are you doing with that lighter? I'm like, none of your business, mom, jeez. Um, the other one, uh, number four, one, two, three, four, I can count, I got this, is this cute little stapler. Um, I actually bought this when I used to make doll clothing and I stapled um, cute little hang tags But now it comes in handy when I sew because I can staple curved edges on the bottoms of bags and it's amazing So I grab for this um, At least every other bag I make honestly a normal size stapler would also work This was just all I had available at Office Depot and it was surprisingly like $15. I think they ripped me off Sound off below if you agree um, yeah, it's really, it's really cool. It doesn't hold a lot of staples, but it's handy and dandy. And then the last one is a coffee mug full of sewing clips. Uh, I call them sewing clips, but they're actually one inch prong alligator clips. They come in handy when you need to get your hair out of your face. Oftentimes I'll go to bed, especially if it's been a stressful day of sewing and I'll have at least three in my hair because I've been sewing and looking down and I'm like, I need my hair out of my face. So they come in handy for that, but they're also great for putting pieces of fabric together and then just like quickly pulling your fabric, or pulling the clip out, I should say. I'm sure you guys have seen me use these numerous times in videos. Um, you can get them from any beauty supply store and I think they sell them at Walmart. I've seen some comments. Y'all told me that. So yeah, that's it. Those are my five most unexpected sewing items. Let me know down below what yours are because honestly, I'd just love to know. I'm sure others would too. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Is it gonna stop shaking? Did it stop?